Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jane Gerardo, and I'm president of the board of the Community Foundation of Greater Fort Wayne. Thank you all for taking time to be here with us. We're very pleased to make an exciting announcement today that will benefit all of Allen County. The Lilly Endowment in Indianapolis has given the Community Foundation of Greater Fort Wayne $2 million in matching money to provide incentives for certain gifts. This funding is available through Lilly's Phase 6 of what is termed Giving Indiana Funds for Tomorrow, or GIFT program. The board of the Community Foundation has decided to use this very generous gift as follows. One million dollars will be used as a dollar for dollar match for gifts to our community grant making fund. Our community grant making fund provides financial support to charitable organizations serving Allen County. The second one million dollars <coughs> will be used to make a 50 percent match for gifts to a riverfront development fund to be held at the Community Foundation. The matching formula means that when the Community Foundation has raised $2 million for riverfront development, that money, along with the $1 million in matching funds from Lilly, will total up to $3 million to support the city's riverfront development efforts. And now I'd like to introduce Don Steininger, who's a member of the board and is heading up our fundraising efforts. Thank you. <clears throat> well, I have the very easy job, you understand, is all I have to do is raise $2 million. <laughs> uh, I must admit, I don't think I've ever done that. I mean, I've had to raise a little money, but I've never quite had that challenge. Uh, I feel, you know, I've got a great committee. I'm sure we'll get it done. I guess I should warn all of you that if you see my name come up on your caller ID, you probably better either not answer or be prepared to talk about, uh, about making a contribution. Um, I think there's really just two comments that I want to make. Number one, I think the most important thing is, and, and I think this morning's newspaper article said it, and I think Jane mentioned it, and that is this is really the beginning of a long-term project. Um, I don't think any of us know how many years, but we know that to, we've got the momentum. We want to keep it going, but it's going, to, it's going to be a number of years. This isn't going to be the only fundraising effort we're ever going to have to do, uh, but it certainly is a great start. The other thing is that uh, this is, you know, we, we hear the term sometimes public-private partnerships, and sometimes I think that term's a little overused, but this is a classic, I hope and I believe that it's a classic public-private partnership. We're going to take on the responsibility of trying to do what we can to raise the money from the private sector and the mayor and everybody else in the office is going to do what they can to, uh, to provide the, uh, the public side. So we're certainly excited about it, happy to be a part of, uh, of what I think is a great contribution for the city. And as I think Carl heard me say the other morning when I was speaking to the downtown trust that we hear the term sometimes that this is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Well, this isn't a marathon. This is an Iron Man. <laughs> okay, this is this is this is going to take a long, long time. So uh, happy to be a part of it, and uh, thank you for coming, David. Got a comment? Well, I'd like to see if, if, the, if the mayor would like to make it. Well, I can't believe the mayor has anything to say. <laughs> we'll give him a chance. <laughs> I was uh, I was going to be quiet initially, but David said no, no, you got to say something. So actually, I'm, I'm more than happy just to say a few words. I was at a meeting yesterday, and. Uh, Several of you were there as well, and they talked about study after study that's been done by a number of different organizations, and they keep coming back with what today's citizens are asking for, what the emerging youth are asking for, and that's quality of place. They want to make sure that where they end up landing as a family, where young people end up landing in their profession, or whatever, they need to have quality of place. And the reason I bring that up is, as far as I'm concerned, the Lilly Foundation is actually going after both. By allowing a million dollars to be invested toward social service programs, something that 
obviously the community foundation has been involved with for quite some time, adds to that. But now they're beginning to go into a whole different arena that a lot of people really haven't gone after in the past, especially foundations, and that is economic development through our newest initiative, and that is the riverfront development. So that, too, is adding, I think, more to our resume of being a place of, that offers quality of life. So obviously the city is very happy to be a part of this, We're very excited, uh, especially they have the foundations in our city stepping up now and the Lilly Foundation. Uh, it's, it's quite an exciting uh, a statement today, so thank you for allowing me to be part of it. Thank you. Well, that did, it concludes sort of the formal part, and I guess we'd be open to any questions that anybody might have. Would you like to do them one on one? So whatever anybody else has questions. Okay. All right. So you, so one on ones, and so Jeff, make sure you uh, grab what you want to do there. Any other questions? Well, thank you all for taking the time to be here. We really appreciate it.